And thanks for coming to visit from the UK. I'm Shelley Rodriguez. I'm the Deputy Executive Vice President of the California Academy of Family Physicians and um, Executive Director of our foundation. We're using this as a repository for the California Primary Care Residency Program Collaborative, a year-long um, activity with 30 residency programs, training programs here in California. Um, and our programs are working on substance use disorder, opioid use disorder, and medication-assisted training and treatments. It is offering physicians in training the opportunity to advance their education, and so both for treating patients and when they go out into full-time practice to be able to bring these skills into their practices. You know, it's completely happenstance. Um, I was working on a different project with the World Organization of Family Doctors, which is Wonka, mm -hmm. and we had a, a, a project in Asia Pacific with their Asia Pacific region around mental health mm -hmm. and family physicians telling us they really needed help in Asia Pacific with mental health. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a tough top topic anywhere but in Asia Pacific particularly because of the stigma attached. Mm -hmm. So I had 35 to 40 family doctors from eight different countries who were involved in this project. Um, and I needed a place for them to have a, a web portal where they could get their materials and upload materials and download materials and um, a place where they didn't have to deal with you know, a proprietary login and, and all of that. And we um, worked with a consultant, um, Optech, Optitech, Optitech, um, and they knew you and said, okay, we'll build this portal. This is the product we're using. And so when it came time for this new project, I didn't need the consultant. Um, it was simple enough for me to take it on and build it myself. What was important, it had to be of a bandwidth and of an, of an access availability for physicians in countries where technology is not as advanced or in some cases more advanced. We're using Clinked as a repository, in essence, and a discussion board for them. Um, because they're in 30 different programs, that's 30 different platforms that they all have. Mm -hmm. Some of them are .edu's, some of them are .org, some of them are .coms. Um, and it is a very nice central location for us to use um, as a place to put the files they need, mm -hmm. to upload videos that they might want to watch, to use for their calendar of events so they will know when their webinars are, when their reports are due, um, when I have one-on-one -on -one phone calls with them, mm -hmm. um, and it's a place for them to have a discussion. So they do use the discussion board to ask questions of each other um, in a private, safe mm -hmm. um, location. I have close to 100 members. Um, probably 50 of them are fully engaged so that they've gone in and they've built their profile and they've logged in. Um, the others are lurkers, mm -hmm. um, which every site has, every platform, every site has lurkers, and that's okay. Um, and we're using the platform to engage them in um, documents that they need. So, for example, they had their first face-to-face -face meeting in October. Mm -hmm. So everything they needed from that meeting is in an October file. So it's the slides that were there, it's the videos we showed, it's even their reimbursement forms, um, the map to the hotel, that's all there. Um, the uh, webinars, the, the first webinar we had was in November, and so the video of that webinar, the MP4 of that webinar is there, so they can go back in and watch it, or they can give the link to colleagues who weren't able to attend. So that is there for, for, their, for their reference. Um, the newest piece that we just launched this week is, and you can see the, um, the announcement for it, is an online performance improvement module. Um, I don't know that you all are probably familiar with or need to know, but um, for their board certification in the, in the states, they're required to do um, performance improvement modules. So they have to begin with measures, with a mm -hmm. clinical measure. They have to pick a measure, they have to work through a process to show that they're testing improvement in that measure and they have to do reflection. So that's available for them to them as part of this project. Um, the actual module is not on here. Mm -hmm. It's on another platform by our partner, um, IPMA. Mm -hmm. But we can talk to them about it and we can register them here and we can put some of their tools and resources here. So they're ready to rock and roll. And it's allowed them to share um, some best practices 
Um, I have a new program that's only three years. They're in their first graduating class for residency and they don't have the same resources, the same protocols that have been set up, the mm -hmm. same curriculum that's been set up by some of our programs that are 20 years in existence. So it's a, it's a nice platform to reach out for help. And it's good for the entire team. Mm -hmm. So it's not a one-on-one -on -one module. Um, where 15 people all have to go in and register and do the work, a team can do it together because they practice in teams. It's really simple. It's really user-friendly. Um, in fact, the first project, once they built it, I started to do all of the um, uploading and page swift shifting and all of that. Well, and just learning about the mobile, um, thank you very much for bringing that to us. I think that will be really helpful to this group that we're working with.